Our top story, it's a big one. This Highlands County deputy behind me is now fighting for his life after a man shot him. We are working very hard to uncover new details about that suspect. Right yeah, now. but I want to show you right now exactly where this happened. Give you a better idea. This is a map right here. This happened in the Lake Placid area. It happened around 8 o'clock last night. I want to get right out to ABC Action News anchor Lauren St. Germain. Lauren, we've been trying to find out all morning long how that deputy is doing. Any word yet? Well, James and Dia, right now we know he's in critical condition with a head injury. He is at a Fort Myers hospital with his family, but I want to show you. We got to the scene about a half hour ago and take a look behind me. You still see the crime scene tape, the command center, sheriff's office vehicles, still a very active scene nine hours later. So take a look at your screen right now because this is the man who the sheriff's office says shot Deputy Gentry. His name is Joseph Abels. He's a convicted felon and he also has a history of violence against law enforcement. So now you're going to see some video from the scene last night around 8 o'clock. Deputy Gentry originally went to the area because of a neighbor argument about a cat that was allegedly shot. The deputy went to Joseph Abel's house to talk with him, and that's when Abel's allegedly shot Deputy Gentry right at his front door. This morning we know Abel's is in jail, and right now the sheriff's office is asking for prayers. Gentry has been with the office for more than nine years. They're just asking that you keep his family in your thoughts right now. And we also um, know that Governor Scott tweeted this morning, uh, actually last night, he offered state resources, and he also wants every Floridian to keep Deputy Gentry in their thoughts and prayers and says that hurting law enforcement is pure evil. So we know that Governor Scott did tweet that overnight. We're going to be out here all morning keeping you updated on Gentry's condition as well as the investigation through our free ABC Action News mobile app. Reporting live in Lake Placid, I'm Lauren St. Germain for ABC Action News.